Yo, what is going on guys? Tony here, coming at you with another video. This one is going to be slightly different from my usual ones. Is I'm going to be doing a kind of guide slash strategy to what I think the best way to build Kensei as for going in 4v4, specifically Dominion. Now, I know I've mentioned before that I didn't play a lot of Dominion, but I have been playing a shit ton of it recently just because it's something fresh and um, it, it gets me not as angry, I guess. I, I don't know, I guess, I feel some people get more angry at it because it's revenge spam a lot, but it's it's a nice breath of fresh air for sure. Now, I'm going to look at each of his armor items as well as his feats, and then I'll go into a game myself where I'll just play it out and hopefully do good. But this is just kind of what I think will be good on him and what you guys might want to look for in it. So we'll go through each piece of armor, all of his feats, and then go into the game. So, first off, I don't really care about my stats I like to look cool so if my stats suck in certain areas I don't really give a shit but I'm gonna show you guys some stuff that I think is good so we'll, we'll start over with the hilt right we're on the I mean the guard the guard rather so as you guys can see in the bottom right we can either have throw distance revenge mode attack or revenge gained by injury now when picking this if you're actually looking for stats I would go for one of the bottom two Personally, I like the revenge mode by attack, just because you get more damage once you actually get your revenge. Building up revenge is not that difficult in 4v4, so you're going to get it. And the most of the time I can block slash parry a lot of things, and I don't want to get injured to get the revenge, so I like to use the attack on that. As for the hilt, as you can see we have feet, cooldown reduction, revenge mode, defense, and revenge gained by defense. Now, personally, I think that feet cooldown reduction is really good, especially with Kensei. And I'll get into that a little bit uh, later on when I actually go into his feats. But he has some certain feats that are really, really strong if you're able to get them. And having the cooldown on those reduced by a lot is going to be really good. Now for the blade, attack, defense, stamina cost reduction. In 4v4s, I don't care that much about defense. You're not really going to be fainting or doing any crazy combos in it so you just want your attack and stamina cost reduction built up pretty highly the defense isn't that great for 4v4s to be quite honest it's a little bit better in like the duel and brawl modes to where you you know you you block better and stuff like that so go for the attack and go for the stamina cost reduction now looking at his arms we can have block damage resistance revive speed and stamina regen now this is one that I would say is probably better for revive speed if you're playing in Dominion and you get the opportunities to revive your teammates. Now, sometimes it's risky because you don't always get the opportunity to get to your teammates and you usually have little time. But if you use the revive speed, you might actually get the opportunities to bring another teammate out and it could possibly help you out, especially if the other team is breaking. Stamina regen, obviously good for those reasons, but I, I don't find myself running out of stamina that often with, with Kensei in, in the 4v4s. So, moving on from that, we have this chest. We can do execution health, block damage, or sprint speed. Pick sprint speed. Kensei's slow as fuck. <laughs> I just, just, he's very slow. I don't, I don't understand why. The dude looks like he's in great shape, but he is, he is very, very slow. So, in addition to that, you could probably do block damage, I think would be a little better. Execution health regen is good, but a lot of the times you're not isolated to get uh, executions off as it is. You'll get the kill and you might go for the execution, but it gets interrupted pretty frequently. So personally, I go for the sprint speed just because the dude is slow. And finally, for the helm, we have debuff resistance, revenge mode duration, and exhaustion recovery. Now, debuff resistance is if a, another hero uses a feat on you, say that lowers your attack and defense. That would be a less of a percentage when you have something with high debuff resistance. The revenge mode duration I don't find to be that great, just because it comes up pretty frequently. So if you were looking for something, I'd say either the debuff or the exhaustion recovery. If you find yourself running out of stamina, go for the exhaustion recovery because you'll build yourself back up to full a lot quicker and it'll be a lot better for you. Alright everybody, now we're looking at the feet tree for Kensei. As you know with most people, if you've played 4v4s, each one has four feats and there's three different feats for each category. So in his first one, Kensei has fast recovery which gives him uh, stamina regenerating faster. He also has body count to kill soldiers that give you health and stamina back. 
and Iron Lungs, which is you can sprint without a stamina. If you're playing Dominion, obviously you want to go for body count, because getting the health and stamina back on those soldiers is, is really good. If you're playing any other modes, you might want to consider something different, but I'm trying to look primarily at Dominion for this, so definitely want to go with body count. It's just, there's no reason not to. Now for a second one, we can either have Inspire, which is allies deal more damage, soldiers fight faster. You can have the Smoke Bomb, which grants a small shield and disables the lock-on of anyone in the smoke. Or you can have Chilling Stare, which enemies have lower attack and defense. Now this one, it can I think it's a toss-up between Inspire and Chilling Stare. Um, chilling Stare, if you find that you maybe just stay on a point and you get isolated 1v1s more frequently. Personally, I like to go Inspire. So once I get that feat relatively early, because it is the only second tier feat, um, I can just run on to B, use my Inspire, clear it out, grab B, and then uh, push their minion soldiers back a little bit, and then move on to a different uh, different point to capture. So I find that very, very good to use. Now, his third one, we can choose either Second Win, which is recover some of your health, Longbow, you fire a Longbow, and it does a shit ton of damage, or steadfast, which is gain immunity from throw attempts for a short duration. Now, looking at these, these are all really, really good actually. Second win, you believe you get four charges of it, and it's got about a 10 second recharge time after you use one. It gives you about two bars back. It's it's pretty good to use. Uh, longbow, like I says, it almost does three quarters of someone's health. It's ridiculous. And then the immunity from throw attempts is very good. Um, I would look at the map you're playing on first to see. Uh, if you're playing on somewhere where there's a lot of like ledge offs like on I don't know the actual full map name but the map that has overwatch with the bridges there's the one point C where there's knockoffs on both sides and behind you so that might be a decent one to run there but primarily I go with the longbow it's really good especially if somebody's running away from you you can lock on and just fire them right away or you can back up from somebody who might be beating your ass and then you can uh, get some really really good damage off now, for the fourth one, we can do Arrow Storm, which is basically a bunch of little sections come out of arrows that go down. They do a good amount of damage, but not really concentrated in a single area. He has the Stalwart Banner, which nearby allies continuously regain health, which is good. But he has the Unblockable, which is, I think, absolutely overpowered, and it's insane. So your attacks are unblockable for a short duration. The short duration is about 30 seconds. And like it says, your attacks are unblockable. So if you consider yourself with Kensei doing your top unblockable in a combo, imagine all of your attacks are like that and they can only be parried. Once you get this feat, people have no idea what to do at first because they're like, holy shit, I'm blocking, but I'm not getting anything. And a lot of the times they just don't have the uh, reaction times to, to parry for it. And it works on both your heavies and your light attacks, which is really good. And this is why... Earlier I said I like to go with the feet cooldown reduction so we can have the chance of getting this up more frequently. It is the highest tier feat so it is a little bit more difficult to get if you're not having a great game. You might not get it as frequently. The only other one I would probably choose would be the arrow storm just to provide more damage. I don't really like the stalwart banner to be quite honest but the unblockable is, is really good. You can chain combos but everything is unblockable and especially if you're going at it with um two people and you're going against like a turtler who is building up revenge you can just you can ruin their day really quickly so unblockable is it's one of the best feats that i think i've seen in this in this game and he's it makes him actually really good in 4v4s i thought kensei was really really bad in 4v4s just because of his uh, play style and reliance on combos but it, he's actually really good and with his feats it makes him even better so this has been the beginning part of the episode. Right now I'm just going to hop into a game, kind of show off some of these feats, and hopefully you guys get a better idea of how I play and maybe pick up some tips as well. Alright, so we're just hopping into a uh, Dominion game. Hopefully I can show you guys some good stuff to use, when to use feats, and hopefully not make a fool of myself while playing. Looks like we're going against uh, Nabushi, Kensei, Orochi, Raider, and ourselves are Conqueror, Shigoki, Orochi, and Kensei. So, should be a relatively even thing. I mean, we do have the Oni charge on our, size, on our side. I don't know if this guy knows how to use it, but hopefully we'll be able to play good. I actually like the map Sanctuary Bridge, so we'll see how this one goes. All right, let's go, boys. 
go up to A real quick. Gotta get them points, you know. The best way i found to really actually get points in this is to, to stay, like, on a flag. You can see that your feet bar charges way more in the bottom left-hand corner if you stay on a point rather than go contest. But I'm going to try to go get the, the first break here on C. Do you really run? Is this dude really running? Okay, well, that was unfortunate. I, uh, I got guard broke, and I couldn't fucking move. That was un very unfortunate. So, I mean, I don't know where the, where's the rest of our team? Do we have anyone on C? Do we have somebody not playing? I swear I only see two people down there. Yeah, we have someone not playing. Oh, no, he's here. Okay. Must have just died. Yeah, I think they're going to be taking B from us. I'm not going to be able to get down there for a revive. I can I can beat the fuck out of these dudes. <laughs> Kek. Top Kek. Holy shit. Guy came out of nowhere. Why are you going for me, man? This guy's got revenge built up like a motherfucker. Get him with that. Okay, see? We got our first feet already. Oh my god! And he's dead. <laughs> Jesus Christ, he scared the hell out of me. That was hilarious though, how the Orochi killed his own team. Oh, this guy's gonna run. That's fine. I'll just take this out. Another thing Kensei's very good at is clearing, um... Clearing these little minion dudes because his unlocked heavy is actually really good and it just kind of sweeps across them and you can take out a bunch. Looks like we got the bow. I'm gonna go back and help our guy on A. It looks like they we have two guys on C and they have two guys on C. I don't want them to really be able to take this. Good night, sir. <laughs> See, that's one thing there. Our boy had no health, and uh, we were able to, to bring him back. They recaptured. See, I'm going to get this raider. Good parry. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's AIDS. It's okay though. We're still doing decent. We just gotta play a little bit cleaner. Looks like they should be getting A. Uh, looks like we got people contesting. Are we capping C? Yeah, no one's there. Gotta get my way to A. We're pretty close to um, getting to our fourth feet. What? How did I miss that? Good night. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> I love that. It's fucking so much fun to just. What? Alright, use my Inspire. Try to take out some of these guys on B. I'm gonna wait to use my. My unblockable. Because we got three people around us. I usually only like to use it in situations where I could be getting absolutely dicked. Yeah, Adam. A little bit of cherry blossom action there. You know, you know what's good. Good night. <laughs> Alright, we're getting close to having them break. I might use my unblockable up here. Yeah, I'm gonna use it up here. Got him. Get out of here, fam! No luck for you. Looks like they're taking A. There's some guy over here. Where'd he go? I don't know where he went. Let's go, Raider. Let's see what he goes here. Nope. Nope. You're not respawning, my friend. Alright. Oh, sick. We won. I won 11 and 2. So, that was a pretty decent game. Our fucking... Is that our Orochi? That dude was tearing it up. That's a good game right there by that dude. So yeah, as you guys can see, you know, Kensei is actually really good at Dominion. Uh, his Swift Strike allows him to maneuver around people who don't necessarily anticipate that. More people in duels do, but along with his Inspire to rally uh, minions on B, and his bow, like you saw multiple times that game, I just bowed people and just took them out, and his unblockable feat, which I didn't get to show that much of, but you guys can tell that it's, it's really good. Uh, they can't block it they have to parry most people aren't looking for it and if you throw some like feints in there it makes it even more confusing for the people so i hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you did be sure to leave a like comment and subscribe let me know if there's any other tips or strategy guys you'd like to see me make with kensei as always guys my name is tony i'll talk to you in the next video